Great, thanks for joining us today, Peter. What are we gonna be looking at in this demo? So today we're gonna be comparing the inefficient uh, LM78 uh, linear regulator versus our efficient R78 switching regulator. Right away, you can see that the part count of the LM78 is several components, including a heatsink, thermal paste, nuts and bolts, and of course, the extra labor, while the R78 solutions part count is one. If I take a linear regulator with five volts out, you see that the input and output current are the same, meaning that the power loss is quite high. You can see in the thermal images that this will result in a significant amount of heat generated, reducing the lifetime of the entire application. When I replace the linear regulator with one of our R78 switching regulators with the same load, you can see that the input voltage is still the same, but the input current drawn is much less. This results in a greater amount of power being transferred to the load as opposed to being dissipated as heat. The total cost of ownership of a design has to be considered in this case. While the bill of materials of the linear regulator might be a bit cheaper than an R78, other factors need to be looked at. The heat dissipation reducing the lifetime of the nearby components needs to be considered. Also, the part count is reduced, which simplifies sourcing. Finally, as the modules are pre-certified and EMC tested, time to market is greatly improved.